Um, today we want, we want to talk about, alright, so we're, we're all Jamaicans here, right? And we grew up in a culture where there is dance and music around, and a lot of things come out of the music. Now, um, as a young person, what is, what, what, what are some of the effects that dance or music has on your thoughts about sex and sexual decision making, if any? How does dance all affect us as young people? Does it affect you in any way? Dance for music has no effect on me. That's my decision. Whatever decision I have to make is me. Dance for has nothing to do with it. That's about it. Ever thought? Dance for does not really affect me. Affect me here, as I said. I understand because it's a type of music where they because I listen to both dance and gospel and other music but out there basically it's kind of negative and positive with some other individuals but it depends on how you take it it's your responsibility so if you want to make it affect you then it can affect you if you, want, if you don't want it to affect you then it won't affect you based on how the type of music you listen to so if I mean you say like you have sex it's most you know listen to what the song basically they're saying about it. it's your responsibility to say whether well, I'm going to have sex then, follow the music, say, I'm doing that, but then I'm going to do it. So you have to lead up to your responsibility. Yeah, you make your own decision. Alright, but there's something interesting here though. So everybody in this room basically says that, you know, everybody knows that it's your responsibility to make a decision or whatever. But think about the average young person growing up in Jamaica who probably isn't, um, who probably only has dance hall to turn to or all their friends think of dance hall as being something important. Do you think that there are many Jamaican young people out there who pay attention to the music and listen to it? As I, as I said earlier, negative and positive. Today, um, basically, it's negative out there, majority, majority, because nowadays these songs tell me about war and sex and these things. And so, you have, say, 80% of the children that are negative and you have 20% are positive. But it's, it is within you that you say that, well, well I'm not going to fall on that track. Never be the one to say, well, it's possible with me because it's my, it's my responsibility, sorry, to those. Say, I'm not going to listen to what that music is saying. So you're saying the majority of the young persons listening to our music today, if the lyrics are telling them to have sex, they will have sex. Yeah, yeah. Okay. the younger version of okay. that. The younger, the younger, the younger, younger, younger right? what age? Like what age? 14, no, 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 12. Yes, like yes. Yeah. 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 So you think that like the younger, young people, no, 12 gravity. year olds, yeah, they will... Yeah, gravitate to them and, and will act out whatever the, most of the songs are saying. But what are, what are some of these songs telling us to do? Right. Well, so what are some of them? Like, for instance, they know you have the vibes card, they write the lyrics, 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 Okay. <laughs> yeah, and all these other things. I have other things. They have songs to promote work to it. Push. Yeah. Most of the males go. Yeah. Like the so, Golly and Gaza. You know where I'm going right now. Tell us about the Golly and Gaza thing. Like in five, in, in a very short snippet. What is this Golly and Gaza that's going on? People who don't know. Well, to me, I don't really pick up this thing because I guess what? You see, we're well, basically going to see them go on with still. Them does pretend to look ugly. Pretend. Them pretend because when them go undercover, them is like friends. You understand? Yeah. Like, because the two of them been in the same class as Stella Man's friend. So every day them see them going there. So certain things they hear say, oh, can't tell go against my boy. They don't do for them. They say, oh, I like them. But they have some good idiots. Yes, some of the idiots. Some of the idiots. But they say, oh, no, so I go to myself. But they know 
is why is the no I don't know the difference still because I don't know when it ever got in the don't know that in Jamaica yeah why is it no, you don't trust them. You don't uh, trust the guidance. No, no, I trust my guidance counselor. I, I don't feel afraid to go to my say, All right, this is the problem, and I need your help. Me no say. I can't swear to him. Say no. no. Oh, but, but, but if it's a case where you know, but someone with me and I'm a student, they like you. I never. But that's what I'm speaking on my behalf. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm very comfortable talking yeah, to my. Yeah, me trust What's him. Yeah, me feel comfortable talking to you. Okay, so if you were to get pregnant today, would you be comfortable going to your guidance counselor? No, I don't think she would be. Yeah, of course we not be. But have to have that relationship. What about the health center? As a young person, being a pregnant young person, how easy is it for you to get comfortable quality health care at the health center, your health center? What if you had an STI? Well, I don't know if anybody gets us to the know. Yeah. You know, it's a really outdoor one, you know, say, I'm a morning can go this time. And I'm a hot and I'm a private place, no? Yeah. But once you know, they get to the get there, you know, say, go this time, the next person, you know, you're going to have a doctor, doctor, and everything. You're not going to feel comfortable, but you're going to go in a room, your doctor, you have people outside where we're trying to get to the man, so you don't have no privacy. So you're not going to have privacy for yourself, so they might hear about your business out here. Yeah. And he's like, well, you know, you're at the moment, just be uncomfortable, like I said. Yeah, so them come, so them see you and but I don't know what she come down to Well, if I should the person with like STI, would I feel grateful I mean, yes, the symptoms and everything, you don't know what. I trust me, I don't want to go here to me, I So what was the experience? Yeah, I did. I did. I long, 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 long. And somebody has come to the with me. So how would they be treating you as a young person presenting these symptoms or being pregnant? I'm trying to access yeah. them. Well, I can't say that. They give me a way, It depends on your age. Yeah. Because I have some people who told me pregnant and things like that. Yeah. I say, you got after that, I know you have to the place. I say, well, no. I say, no. I say, really? No, I say, I'm going to tell them to go to the house. That's what I heard. We are going to deal with them. Really? Yeah, we are going to deal with them. They want to say, oh, me remember when we made the operation last year and then the child began to tell her to say, I have kids. I said, no. She 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 said, no. Uh, 12 and 13 have come in and I'll come for them five. Mm -hmm. Them five and them five, that's not enough, them gone now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to them ball, pay the yeah. yeah. them, say, she say one thousand, I'm going to honest and say, I'm true with the present time, I'm saying. So I never meet them for a brain. Mm -hmm. They want to say, well, yeah, this is their act and things like that. They're not supposed so, to tell nobody that. Right. Oh, mm -hmm. That's not right. right. Whether it's your choice or accident, and I don't know right to tell nobody that. Mm -hmm. right. Do you right. find right. that, do you find that it, this prevents young persons from going to the health center when they're in need of medical care? Yes. Yeah. And then you know what they say. You know what I come after I work at the NAB or at the health center mm -hmm. or wherever. So you don't know say. And they have got you know what things. Oh, me I get rid of this. Oh, me I get rid of this. What me I go do? Mm -hmm. so what you have to do to get rid of? I have no idea. Then there's one that's going to be like, if you have to go back to the moment that's going to be more sharp, then you come back to it. Oh, okay. Morning after. Or if it's too late. Right. Near Aspen and Pepsi. Yeah. Third yeah. for the ideas. Pentecost Pepsi. 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 Pentecost People think they really work. Yeah, does it really work? I don't know. Well, for some people. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so you hear somebody say she used it already and it worked. And yeah. I've heard a person say that they went to a doctor mm -hmm. to get an abortion and they used an old wire and shot it. But they the, the, the thing and it was like, oh. But to me, 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 to
okay, I recommend but this to me, me those, me those things that I watch and think never really work, never really works still, guys. But no, it's there, you know, it's there, I do it. Me not young again, but it's not all the while you're going to keep suppose somebody, my father, you're making some like No, no, that, that difference still. If you come by the case of rib and things like that, no, you know, it's not really want character, you know, it's an unwanted child. Exactly. But in that case, so you go definitely, I know, so you just enjoy it and things like that. And it's not. I have to try it. And things like that. Well, you can't understand that you didn't tell yourself that we are going to do that. You should just protect yourself and know that. Yeah. You should know what you want. You know what I'm thinking like that. Alright, one final question I want to throw out would be like, you know, the current situation with abortion being illegal in Jamaica. Do you see a need for it to be legalized? Yes, I do. Yes, in some cases. Yes, in some cases. But remember, that no, no, it, it's legal if you're raped mm -hmm. or if the health of the mother is at risk. So there are those two cases where you can go and get a legal abortion. Well, but for yeah. the average young girl who, who, who wants to make a choice, it's not. What are your take? What are your takes on that? It's in the two cases where. Then otherwise from that, no, I don't think it should be legal. Oh, okay. I don't think it should be legal. We're basically the same thing, guys. So that we never say, if you're in a case of rape, then, you know? Mm -hmm. Alright, But mm -hmm. if I use the person, I don't say it. Mm -hmm. I'm kidding. I hear a problem. I hear a problem. You, 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 the person that you, you're, you're sexually involved with, your partner, should be a considerate to know, say, yeah, if you're a you know, school picnic, say, yeah, all right, she has a school now, you can't pop one her, pop one so quick, and she at least less school. And then, uh, to me, some of them, some of them, these young people, you know, need to be more mature and have sense, because it makes money go in school then. Yeah. So that them are them don't know, so they feel like they get them pregnant, you know, and then go and tell them, say, oh, no, never go on some yeah. and them go and them yeah. pregnant to like, yo, two weeks, like maybe like, a week later, they pregnant and them pregnant, and them go to yeah. So what? I don't mean, you know. 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 I said, any boy, you know, that dead. That dead. I don't mean, you know. I don't mean, you know. I don't mean, you know. If you do feel that if young persons had more information about sex and how to get pregnant or well, from how pregnancy occurs, that would better be able to allow them to know what to do to not get pregnant. Mm -hmm. when not really. Pregnant. Not really. Because I some if they make up their mind, they adapt them one. Adapt them one. Go and most of the time, it's peer pressure. Peer pressure make only for people. Yeah, yeah my friend does say, yo. Yeah. And when it feel good, I know. Maybe the first time you go, you get your body. Yeah. Right. People don't want to want it or just for the experience. Mm -hmm. You just go for the first experience, you know. The experience. They hear everybody at talk about it. Yeah, you might be the yeah. 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 All right. Um, tell us about the first time you heard about HIV and what you heard about it. Once you make when you say make you feel cool, I went the sun hot hot hot. I mean, say like you swear out of your body. I make it get extreme, yeah, like, but some people are you know, extremely skinny. Okay. Like, and when is the male go home into a bus and a man who's on the bus with HIV positive? Yeah, that's kind of mine. And him poor. And, yeah, I mean, that's kind of him, because at first, we're going to the bus and we see him sitting on the door. So, I ask him, why if he's mad because he looks dirty and when his skin has the rash and the bump and then something. And he must say, cool him, cool him, cool So, I must have to ask him, the one man and I want to be HIV positive, same dead here at my bed and the people that want to call me man like that. I want girl, just say I lie my tail and the man start what's up and of course truly me do you feel free that I never want to call me. So basically I said, suppose I was to tell you right now that I have HIV positive. Right. Mm -hmm. Your reaction towards me change? No, it depends on your oh, appearance. Oh, you look good. Yes. Yes. <laughs> 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 yeah. So it's like the man, no, 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 no,
Yeah. Yeah. You tell me and say you enjoy me. I was, I was go down deep, deep in the box. Come here and say I put the face like yeah. you. Yeah. 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 No, I'm not saying that because you can't have it and you don't know and you still look good and be a yeah, yeah. Like the, the some of them shop at TV with Andre and Paul. Yeah, look at Jason. 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 Instead of getting fired in my seven, seven years, yeah. and when the mother, when he find out him and I'm gonna kill himself. It's like he broke in the open at the hills. Nobody there. And he's so a man. What I know, weird. And I'm not going to go And he's like, the man come to him and said, anything him in, I can't get all tired. And I don't make him never kill himself. Yeah, I'm not going to go to the hills. 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 Yeah. And, 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 and the government of Jamaica is funding from Global Fund to provide HIV um, and retroviral like medication to those who are HIV positive. Yeah. So what what I sure just said about if you're HIV positive, you don't have to know on the outside. But it's interesting that you know the, the perceptions that you guys have gotten are what you have explained. But based on what you learned first, it is, is, is that still what you believe or is that still how you associate HIV to be this very negative thing and people who have it look very sick and that you can tell by no, the I, thing? No, not all the time. Not really. Not all the time. Even if you look at even if you look sick, I still can't look at the answer of HIV you have. But by knowing that you can't look at somebody and know that they're HIV positive, how does that affect your relationship? Like, how does I always that? trouble. Always and trouble. What that mean? <laughs> For international audience. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Pinch. Leave an inch and oh. roll. Use a yeah. Use a kind of hands. And that's a message that you all practice and you're willing to tell everybody about, right? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> 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 Love people are good at it. Love people are good at it. Love people are good at it. Alright, if you guys have anything else you want to share with us, any other message? I don't know. I want to ask that I suppose you were dating a guy and you were being big together for a number of years. I'm 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 Do you think you know enough though? Do you think you know like all there is to know about HIV so that you no. can go around being comfortable no. and you, you know how to prevent it? You don't think you know enough? No, sir. Where, what, where else do you think you can get more information from? Whose responsibility do you, do you think it is? No, no, no. The Ministry of Health is just telling somebody you know, come from yeah, a talk, yeah. L talk, okay. you know? So it's in the school level. Yeah. 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 And what, about, what about through your community? Do you think that there is enough going on there? Are there young people yeah, talking about it? I mean, but. I'm coming to come in to them nowadays. No, but if you don't tell them, you say, get it, but you live up to them, you say, most of them are not going to. Come in, 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 come
those those about private doctor, family doctor, when I go to the doctor. That kind of get away of little kind of shop, health center, that the home is in the city, the police are going to have here they must say, now we're going to serve people, because I don't get to them, we're going to benefit more than from town people. But I think if they, if they start it from in the school, okay. start it from in the school, then you know you yeah. want to spread it. The more you grow, and I'm it does come up with you. If you know them more, they come in and educate you again. They go out in the world, like, you know. Then the young people come and get educated again, and you know. Okay. So you're you're saying that we need to there needs to be more sexuality education in schools yes. from a young age. Yes. So that as young people grow up. And don't hide it because no hide it. Not from the primary school to them because everybody knows about it already. It's not like they don't know what is sex. Don't hide it. Don't no, hide it. Come on, come on, come on. Two year old can come on. Alright. Yeah. Woman, see, I'm one of them. Two year old son, I say, um, 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 they like ponies. No, one is like me. So I'm a two-year-old guy. No, who like him? Who like him? I know what he's doing. Then there's some guy. 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 Then there's all right, well, thank you all very much for the lively discussion that we had about a myriad of things. Um, we are very grateful. And you guys will see what comes out of this discussion. 